and this is a bag building game all about commercial ocean fishing while also being mindful of conservation because in this game players are going to be catching and selling fish and then using those resources to grow and upgrade your fleet so that you can better complete different financial and conservation goals. A really neat aspect to this game is that players are going to be playing throughout the months of a year but each month is essentially a scenario that's going to have its own individual setup, starting resources, number of rounds, as well as those financial and conservation goals, and even a different market value for the various fish that you'll be catching out at sea. But each round you're going to be drawing a number of tokens from the bag until all of your cards are completely at capacity. You'll be able to place those tokens either on your boats, or on the open sea card. If you're putting those tokens onto your boats, that means that you'll be able to trade them later for money or for various upgrades. If you're putting those tokens back into the open sea, that means that you're releasing your catches back into the ocean to encourage growth of that particular fish. This means that more of those fish will be added to the bag in the following round, making them more likely to pull out throughout the rest of the round, which could be really beneficial if you're trying to reach certain conservation goals for that fish, or even if that fish is particularly valuable and you want to forego cashing them in now so that you might have the opportunity to cash in more later. The neat thing about this is that each card can actually only hold five tokens, so if you're throwing them back into the open ocean, that means that you can only put five on that open ocean card, but you can also choose to throw them back into the ocean on your boat cards. You just have to keep in mind that that means that you're occupying a token location that you might be able to use to sell a different fish. You do only start with one boat at the beginning of the game, so you will want to add more to your fleet so that you can draw more tokens. But you do also want to keep in mind that each of the boats does also have a cost of upkeep. So you don't want to go too crazy with this and end up getting too many boats that you're not able to afford. Each of the scenarios do also offer various goals depending on the difficulty that you want to play, but if you're able to fulfill those goals then you win the game, and if you are interested in this one, as always, I do have it linked in the description below.